Branches serves the working poor through our children and youth programs and our financial stability services. Every day at all four of our sites, we serve over 400 children and youth. We also have 24 students in college. It's always really busy, but we love it. I'm the Director of Student Services and I manage the Florida City site, the Trish and Dan Bell Family Branches Center. It's still new to us and every day it's full of people who are passionate about the work that we're doing. Our main office, the Trish and Dan Bell Family Branches Center, our Lakeview campus, has been serving children and youth and their families for several years now. but it also houses and operates the United Way Center for Financial Stability. This center provides comprehensive financial coaching, free tax prep, employment assistance, and so much more. We also serve students at our Branches Fulford location, located in North Miami Beach. We meet out of the Fulford United Methodist Church, and we are so proud to be serving children, youth, and families in that community. Not all of our sites are as new and fancy as Branches Florida City. For the past year, we have been meeting out of Mount Olive Missionary Baptist Church in the heart of South Miami. We are so thankful for their hospitality and really the opportunity to be in the middle of the community. We have been serving the community of South Miami for over 10 years, and we are ready to find a permanent space or maybe even build something, and that would enable us to continue to provide quality service in South Miami. So the Branches Grow program really focuses on serving elementary students, the little ones. Um, they come to us every day after school, but we are so much more than just an after school program. Really what we focus on is providing a safe, loving environment in which our kids can learn and succeed. And honestly, it takes a lot of effort um, from our staff and our volunteers building those relationships of trust. So many of our kids here at Branch of South Miami often struggle to find that loving role model at home. For example, we have a beautiful little boy, Jeremiah. He's in the fourth grade. Um, beautiful child, bright, sincere, um, but he often acts out and he gets aggressive. One day he was playing on the basketball court and um, he was pushing, he was shoving, he was unusually aggressive that day, and one of our AmeriCorps members, Kat, stopped him and said, hey Jeremiah, calm down, are you okay? You know, let's just take some time and cool down. And Jeremiah just got super upset and he said, but Kat, I've called my mom, she's supposed to come, where is she? She's supposed to be here. She's supposed to be here, why doesn't she come? And. Um, you know, later on that day, we found out from his grandmother, who is also Jeremiah's legal guardian, we found out that his mom often makes those promises. She says she's gonna be there, she says she's gonna do this and that with him, but then 99% of the time, she's a no-show. So a few weeks later, when Jeremiah came back from Christmas break, Kat asked him, how was your Christmas break? Was it awesome? And he just said, no, no. He shook his head and he said, you know what, Miss Cat? She never came. She never came. I called her 30 times and she never called me back, not even once. And he, he broke out into tears. He just broke out into tears. And Kat got down to his level and she put her arm around his shoulder and she said, I bet that makes you feel sad, right? I see it makes you feel sad. And he said, yes. And she said, and maybe even a little bit mad? And he said, yeah. And she said, but you know what, Jeremiah, don't let that make you this angry person. Remember, there are so many people that love you. Your grandma loves you, your cousins love you, and everyone here at Branches loves you. You know that, right? You know we love you. And he was like, yeah, I know that. And then he was like, hey, Kat, will you take me to go play basketball again? And then off they went. So 
So just this one little interaction made me so proud of our team and the work that we do at Branches. These are the sorts of things that really fire us up to serve in our community because it feels so good to know that Jeremiah felt safe enough to confide in Kat. Because the truth is, Jeremiah is more than a student to us. Jeremiah's family. Most days are really difficult at branches. We're part of people's lives who are in difficult situations. We live in a community where there are lots of struggles, but we have this incredible hope knowing that the work that we are doing changes lives for today, tomorrow, and for eternity. Every day I remind ourselves how lucky, how privileged, how blessed we are to be able to live out our purpose every day at Branches. And I truly am grateful for all the Branches supporters that make it possible.